Oh my goodness, here we are again, and it is time to do a March favorites. I have so much to share with you guys, but before we do, I always like to share with you what I have on. I know that a lot of people don't like to, to see this part, so if you're somebody that doesn't care about what I'm wearing, I'm gonna put a timestamp right here. Just jump ahead and we'll be the reviews for the month of what I loved and what I didn't like so much. You can do that, and don't forget that we also have a numbering system, and you can go down in the description box and shop by the number that was next to the product that I showed. Seems to be a lot easier for everybody. All right, let's see what I've got on. I felt like being a little bit springy, so I put on just this ribbed t-shirt with a cute little flutter, flutter sleeve. Um, it's sleeveless, so I don't know whether I can wear sleeveless anymore or not, but I'm going to because it gets hotter than blue blazes here, even though I'm looking outside and there's like 12 new inches of snow from last night. But I wanted to look a little bit more spring because technically we are into spring. So this is a fun shirt. It does come down like mid rear right there. And then I just chose these stretchy pull on. They're like herringbone, uh, kind of not herringbone, but they do have a design in them. So they just have a waistband that comes up and it's really stretchy. The whole fat, all the fabric is really stretchy. So pick your regular size, I would say. And then I wanted to show you the purse that I would pair with it. It's a quilted purse, as I have shown you before. So cute, and it has the flap that goes over. I think I have shown this one to you. And just one pocket in there. I'm so into these little purses. I can't carry around a big purse anymore. It just hurts my shoulders, and I just, I don't wanna do it that much. And then I've paired it with a pair of just just little wedge sandals for summer with some gold detailing. So you'll be able to see those. I'll show those to you close up and I'll show you the jewelry right now. I'll just show you the shoe. It's just a really cute sandal for summer. Great padding on here. This is a very comfortable shoe. It's really great because the heel isn't too high. I would say the heel does look like a three inch heel, but you've got a platform right here that's about an inch. So you've got about a two inch heel and then you have the straps with the gold accents. This is so comfortable, I can wear it all day and not worry about it one bit. So I really do love that. And then the earrings I chose are just a silver, kind of a brushed silver, four tiered or four circles that go all the way down, just a cute dangle earring. And then I paired it with a thick chain or a toggle chain that I really like. I love these big link chains. They just are some that I really gravitate towards and I love. So let's do the favorites for the month of March. Okay, whew. So I want to start out with the foundation that is by KVD. This is what I have on today. And I really, really like this foundation. I think it's good for mature skin. It covers really well. It is like a medium and it can be a full coverage. But the Good Apple Balm foundation that they had, I loved that stuff. And I personally think that a cream foundation is a mature woman's best friend. But this is really good. It's a lot lighter, beautiful coverage without texture. It doesn't show up my pores or my fine lines and it seems to last a really long time. So I really like it and I know it's expensive, but I did want to try it for you guys and let you know my thoughts on it. I'm going to be all over the place in this video, just so you know. I don't have any particular order to do anything in. So, oh, by the way, every time I put these glasses on, somebody asks about them. So I will link these for you so you know what readers that I use. I'm blind as a bat and I need these readers. Okay, this right here I heard about from Penny with Penn Smith Skincare. Again, if you guys have not seen my girl, you gotta go over and see my girl. Um, this is a Revive Eye Serum with ginseng and retinol. It's called Beauty of J Joseon. I hope that's how you say it. I hope I'm not murdering it. But what she told me, and I trust her implicitly, is that the Avene that she was talking about that is really good because it has a, a higher concentration of retinol in it for around the eyes is a, a fantastic product. But the little bottle of it is almost $50, I think. And this is around 20 something dollars, might be close to 30. No, I don't think so. It'll go up on the screen so you guys can know how much it was. So I've been using this and getting the same results I got from that other eye cream. I use this morning and night and I have not had one bit of irritation. I feel like using a retinol product in the morning and night is just boosting what you do with your heavy duty Retin-A. You're getting 
that double dose and it's really helping to fight those signs of aging with fine lines building the collagen back i love it it's really a good one and i can recommend it too now, a fail for me let's just get this out of the way i got this sent to me by the way from physicians formula and it's the butter glow liquid bronzer i'll show you why it's a fail for me i don't even know if it has a flip thing on it it doesn't okay this is orange but orange it's just whoa baby that is so orange I can't wear things that are that orange. There's no way I could wear that. It would look, yeah, I would be having Oompa Loompa legs. And I'm telling you, it would just be horrible. So this one was way too orange for me. I would say skip it. The texture is fine, but I also felt like it was a little bit patchy. So I don't feel like that one was great. So that's the 411 about that new product. And then I wanted to also tell you that ever since I had my surgery, I have been loving these felt tip liners from Sephora. Now they have a really nice line on them, but what's really cool about it is they have colors that you can use. There are not many companies out there that have a green uh, eyeliner or felt tip eyeliner that you can use across the top of your eye or make a wing with or whatever. This one is brown. I had the blue one. I wore it out, so I don't have that one with me right now, but I really like these. They stay a long time and they make a beautiful crisp line for you if you're somebody that really likes to tight line that upper water line. That's what I do with them. And it's fun to have different colors. So I wanted to mention those to you because I use them all the time and got back into using them more again. This okay, are you somebody that uses the new face product? There's a couple of others on the market. I can't think of them right now, but are you somebody that uses any of those products that are supposed to tighten with the sonic frequency? If you are, this is a great conductive gel. This is called Absonic and it's called E-Touch something. But it's basically a conductive gel for cavitation and electrodes, zero parabens. So the reason I like it is it glides on really smooth. It's really thin, great consistency, doesn't interfere with what I'm gonna be doing next with my skincare. I just really liked it. It was a great one. And the other reason I like it is because it's such a big bottle. The other bottles I was buying were smaller bottles. And I was like, you know, this stuff can't possibly cost that much. Why aren't they making it in big bottles so that we can use it and have plenty of it on hand? So this is a pretty good size bottle. I wanna say that this is an eight or a 10 ounce bottle. It's an eight and a half ounce bottle. So really like this a lot and you get a lot for your bucks. I also wanted to show you these. Everybody has that headband that's like the princess thing that goes way up. I'm not somebody that likes that that much and it's expensive and I'm not gonna spend that kind of money. So I got a four pack of bling bling headbands and I think that they were like $5 less than the single headband. I love these. I think they're so cute and I use them when I'm putting taking off my makeup or putting on my makeup all the time. And I just, they're really fun if you have a granddaughter or a daughter that does their makeup and they're always trying to keep it out of their face. This might be something that they really like. And I love glitter, so that was fun too and kind of inexpensive. I just wanted to mention those to you. And then I wanted to mention these slide heels that I got. Okay, they have a print right here. They are a brown color, but look, they have a chain on them. This does not cut into your foot. It's very comfortable. These are so stinking cute. They have a squared toe. Yes, they are a little bit of a heel, but they really are quite comfortable. They do have a lot of padding in there. And what I'm gonna show you next will help you with, if you do have a hard time wearing heels, it's gonna help you so much because sometimes when you wear a heel, you can't even wear it a couple hours before you're like, oh my goodness, get me out of these. But these are adorable, very well made. I wanna say that they come in like six or eight different colors and textures. So I really do love those. And here's what I'm talking about. Okay, these right here, our foot pads, I just closed it after trying to open it. These are foot pads that you put on. It goes underneath the ball of your foot right there. You put your toes through here and then the padding is right there. Now it's not super thick, so it's not gonna make it uncomfortable to wear the shoe so that you know the shoe is too small for you. I think these are amazing. I wear these every single time I wear a heel. And yes, I can wear it with this kind of a heel and it doesn't show. It has a bunch of different colors in here. There's five sets 
of them in here. Also, I thought that it would bug me to have something in between my toes like that. I don't even notice it when I have them on. It's very soft. So this is a lifesaver if you're somebody that loves to wear heels and it does hurt. It really does work and it gives you extra padding. So yeah, I would really recommend if you like to wear heels to grab these. Also, I was so excited to find this. I am the person that has tan everywhere when they're self tanning. It's all over the place. But when you get to seeing the back, there's nothing there because it can't reach it. I found this. This is so cool. So this you just put in the middle here. You put your product in the middle here and then you just take it and you use it like you would a back scrubber in the shower. I love this and it doesn't cause streaks. You just have to rub it in a little bit, you know, like you would a lotion or anything else. And you can use it for lotion. If you're somebody that, you know, has a, a itchy back and they need lotion on there, you can use it for that. It's the exact material of the tanning mitts that you get when you buy a tanning product. So I really like this and I think that if you're somebody that really wants to tan their back and you can't reach back there, this is really great. We are getting to the time of year when the sun is going to be higher. We're going to need to be reapplying our sunscreen. I just wanted to mention this to you again. Now Color Science has one of these and it is the powder that is the SPF on one side and then on the other side it's just a brush that and you can see in the middle of the brush. Let me see if I can get it to come out and you can see it better. You can see in the middle of the brush that the powder comes out there. I want to recommend this to you to have in your purse so that you can just reapply any time of day a little bit of extra sunscreen when that sun is out and it's beating on us. We should be re uh, reapplying no matter what time of year it is, but this time of year is when we start really thinking about sunscreens. And this is one is from Derma E and it's called Sun Protection Mineral Powder SPF of 30. And it's just the greatest thing to reapply over makeup and not disturb your makeup. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned that again for any of you that have not heard of it. Derma E is a company that I'm really enjoying right now. I'm enjoying the ingredients that they have in their product, but I'm also enjoying the price point that they have. It's so affordable. And I brought this to you earlier in the month. This is from Derma E. It's the Ultra Lift DMAE Concentrated Serum Copper Peptides, and it says it has resveratrol and Kakadu Plum. Now I did learn that Kakadu Plum has been touted at, for a long time, wherever they grow it from, as a very great anti-aging ingredient and an antioxidant ingredient. Resveratrol is the same thing. It protects your heart when you take it internally. It protects those organs and this protects your skin on the outside. But it has those copper peptides in it and those copper peptides are going to reach down deep through your skin and help build collagen. So this is an all around great product. This one is empty. My, my new one is on the way and I'm so excited to have found this and I did talk about it earlier in a skincare video if you want to hear more about it there. I wanted to tell you about this pretty bracelet that I also got. I just fell in love with this bracelet. I don't remember which influencer had this, but I got really influenced to buy this bracelet. It's a cuff bracelet. It has a nice little clasp on there that's not hard to do. You can see I'm doing it one-handed and it's just got just some pretty detailing on it with some rhinestones in there. I think this is so pretty and so classy and I love to layer bracelets. So I'm probably going to be layering maybe my tennis bracelet on here. So this is really pretty and I really love it. And then also I wanted to share with you this perfume I'm in love with. It's called Eilish and I think it's from Billie Eilish, but I've been spraying this all day because I forgot how much I love it. I've had it for a couple months, but I've been using it the past few days and I love this stuff. It has a very musky vanilla smell to it, but it also has a great fragrance of like almost a, it's almost like a spice in there. And I just like it so much. Now this is one that doesn't last like a super long time. It lasts a, a while. It's better than, you know, a body spritz, but it doesn't last a super long time. That's why I spray it on my clothes and in my hair. But you can also get that Vaseline balm that I've talked about so much put it on your pulse points and then spray your perfume on there and it's going to last so much longer. So I do love this. This is one of my husband's favorites on me as well. Yeah, we're just head over heels in love with that so much. So I think that is everything 
for the month of March. I didn't have a lot of makeup in here, but I had a lot of beauty and a lot of things that I really have been loving. I appreciate you so much for being here with me and don't forget to tell me what are the things that you've been enjoying this month. I would love to hear from you and definitely try out your suggestions as well. Thanks so much for coming around and being with me. I hope you're all really having a great day. Take care of yourselves and we'll be together very soon. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you.